Hello and welcome to Wicked Wizard News, coming at you live from my parents' basement. Great lighting, by the way. Uh, I guess that was kind of intentional, because uh, there's a lot of junk in there. And this basement doesn't look anything like that anymore. But uh, you gotta like the uh, Onion News Network music that I used. This week. And indeed, there were many students that have gone missing over the year. I think I'm lost. Now the headmaster of the school does have a shady past. He's been known to participate in gang activities. At the beginning of the school year, he threatened the students at gunpoint not to enter the third floor corridor. You know, I really do like this um, news thing. Well, and really the whole last uh, two parts, really, because I like thoroughly went over the whole entire series and just thought of anything I could think of to uh, reference again, like uh, the Hogwarts being on the moon and all the things that show up in this and other parts of the last two parts. It was the sorcerer's stone. It's amazing how I have nothing to add to uh, this particular cutscene. It's just a normal cutscene for once. It just works out fine how it was. Well, okay, except for that, but you know. Oh, this sequence. I swear, it took me so long to figure out how to do this. My name is Marilyn. I have a lovely collection of beetle pincers. I wonder if there's a spell to make me even more beautiful. It's like, how do I create, oops, how do I create a sequence where she's still guarding the area and they defeat her, but incorporate that into the cutscene that's already there? Jelly bean that tasted like curry. I don't think I like curry. Obviously this is Photoshop ed editing. On, let me just... And then, ah. <laughs> here's <laughs> throwing like that. Ouch! The side that view. Think she knows everything. And then, yeah, that totally just happened. It... Wow. <laughs> we that had that the whole sequence. Mucus, yes. Very good at repelling demons. I don't even remember. Did I specifically think I was going to do something with it repelling demons? Or was it just a coincidence that I already happened to have a demon character with Marilyn? I literally don't remember, but uh, that's kind of the fun thing, though, is that um, it's this sort of uh, um, retconning, like, all this stuff together, so to speak. Honestly, uh, retconning is seen as a bad thing, but if if done in the right ways, it can actually be some of the most incredible stuff. Um, I'm thinking of shows like Adventure Time, where uh, you can take all these elements together, and somehow get them to work, despite the fact that you were definitely not playing the whole way. Good enough at the flute to put them to sleep. Let's just try this. Oh yeah, so this is great. Ah! Man, I'm awesome at the flute. Ah! So, so basically what I did was I uh, took my old recorder that they made us play in like third grade or whatever, and uh, finally got some use out of it by just playing random notes on my own, so like, this is indeed me, uh, playing the flute. Just, just coming up with random tunes and, uh, doing all this, basically. I'm great. It is great how they just walk in there like that. Uh, I can't really comment on that in the actual part, but it is funny. Um, so I actually made, like, a Java program in order to do that, um, where it has a repeating background and everything. I advanced beyond my Photoshop, uh, animation, and yeah, I made an entire program just for that. Love this sequence. You don't want the music to stop. You can't just go around bumping into people. It's rude. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right. I can't just go around bumping into people. It's rude. Even if they were forced to be my friends, they're my friends now, and I should go and save them. Very well. 
I can't believe I just made that line into an actual plot point. Um, yeah, I, I forget about all, all all these things. I put way mu too much work into this, basically. Are you guys gonna do something, especially Ron? Yeah. Wow, that was just really do it as fast as fast as possible. Got lucky there with that. The camera was w weird. The Devil's Challenge. Use challenge stars to defeat Mrs. Snape. Find 21 secret wizard cards. Find 73 secret air... Th um, what did I even do? So I know I, like, collected a bunch of different screenshots of this and, like, used those to get the background image. I guess I, uh... I really just, like, got all the things together, like, because that was from The Devil's Snare, and, like, I got a challenge. Yeah, so I just slowly collected together materials until I could use the correct fonts and, and background and everything to actually make this. Yep, that that's the sort of stuff I wasted my time on with this. What kind of chess is this? Have I been learning the wrong rules? Because of reasons, the rest of this level will be toys. Yeah, so... The only regrettable thing about this is I probably need a better camera angle and, like, my hands are in the way and stuff. And also, if you've never played the game, then you're like, what the heck is going on? Um, but yeah, I, like, replicated exactly all the movements and stuff. I think this Harry was part of a, um, a toy set or whatever where, like, you do Wingardium Leviosa and, like, it puts a ball up in the air, but it's, like, air blowing to keep the ball up. Um, we got we got a lot of random uh, Harry Potter stuff uh, growing up over the years, so this is kind of, like, showing that off in a way. <laughs> also, of course, the Lego stuff. Actually, that's a nice callback, because uh, I used to do all these, um, Lego, well, uh, toy things in general on this channel, uh, but not anymore uh, once I started doing Let's Playing. But here, here it's coming back. It, it's all coming full circle. Let's go in it. Okay. Ah! It's guarded by some three-headed monster! This is the final title card! Where are the photoshopped images? It can't end like this! Wait, no! Don't start the level! I didn't even get to read the card! How will they know what the level is about? Yeah, I didn't bother with that, uh, for... Well, for one thing, I... Uh, it's the final level, so it kind of would be spoiling what comes up. Not that that really matters too much, but, um, you know, whatever. And really, there would have been too much to put in anyway. Particularly with all the things that I do that are unique to my this Let's Play. And also, you know, it's just easier, you know... I didn't have to spend that one hour, so that that's that's one less hour in the hundred hours it took to make this file part. So there you go. Random archway yep. thing, yeah, yeah. Check this out. <laughs> just just another bit of evidence to show how much time I spent going over these levels. Okay, let's just follow it around again. Ooh, how much fun is this? Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't really much I could add to this, or I, I couldn't think of much to add. Because honestly, the greatest thing I did with this particular scene was in the um, fake part that I made this one time. Where you're <laughs> speeding up the cutscene so that all the potions fly everywhere. You really can't beat that, so I'm sorry. Do you have any knowledge of the missing student, Kevin Bletchley? Last scene entering the Lumos challenge. You know, I actually got the name Kevin Bletchley from like some supplemental material or whatever about Harry Potter. It's a it's a real student's name. Um, just put forth that effort for no particular reason. Yes, 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 I did make this. This is a thing I created. Orphan as a child, he's a boy who lived, his uncle and Annie just can't be forgive. Yeah, Harry was a guy that got no respect, but now he's going to Hogwarts and got some beans to collect. Yeah, so this was a really fun idea, obviously, for like making a recap of the series. Um, I don't know what really 
made me think of doing a rap, particularly since I um, have like no experience with that, with like music or anything. But then again, I made a rap with Dumbledore at the very beginning, so I guess it's kind of fitting in that sense. I haven't even ever seen The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which is what this music is, by the way. It's probably just as well. I'm not very musically inclined, so I don't know probably how poorly the audio is mixed or whatever and like how well I am with the beat. I mean, I, tr I tried my best. And also, probably the most ridiculous part about this rap um, is the fact that I have it in my iTunes. Like, my own music, this own weird rap that I made. I listen to it whenever it comes up on, like, the randomness in iTunes. Um, I'm weird, okay? I, I don't I don't know if... You you watched this whole Let's Play and you even went through this commentary, so maybe maybe, maybe you could have figured it out. But just, just to uh, get rid of any possible doubts, uh, I am weird. And yes, I do like my own song. Uh, two out of five stars. Now it looks like it could be the end of the school, but Hermione and Harry ain't no fool. By the way, I very specifically left out Ron from that line of the song. I, I don't know if you picked up on that, but it's pretty funny. Snape wants a stone to live some more. Now they're going down the Forbidden Corridor. I also like just um, summing up the Sorcerer's Stone, or Philosopher's Stone technically. Uh, it's just a stone that makes you live some more. You know, no big deal. I guess it does have more properties, technically, but the uh, immortality thing is what they focus on. So you're going to kill me, then? Or... What's going on here? I love how Who's... he just doesn't okay. attack you until you actually start How's it moving. Going, ah! Well, for a while. Alright, so you're... Alright. So, Tetris is over, Quirrell. <laughs> now what? No, no, no. It's over, Quirrell. No more Tetris, okay? Block. <laughs> Block. Okay. Yeah, I can I can laugh at my own jokes. Calm down. Of course. I can practice flying at any time. I say now is any time. You know, I really cut all the tension all right, out, Bruce don't I? It's like, <laughs> what, why are we doing Quidditch now? So what do I want the most? You know, this uh, particular room... There are like so many iterations of it in the uh, greater level, like for all the different cutscenes and battles and stuff. They have made the room multiple times, um, and really, just like for the level editors, there was so much to create for this final encounter. There was also so much to create for me in the this let's play. Give me the stone. I did not plan that. I swear. Sometimes this game is just like that. I did not plan this! Alright, gotta take him out. You know, in practical terms, has anything really changed now that he's Voldemort? I mean, he's just using the same kind of spells. Wow, you're being very cooperative. I could just do this again. You know, there was a time when I first did this that this was really difficult. Uh, but no, not so much. The most oh, difficult okay. part. Since you said so, sure. The most difficult part is like the so little he's just gonna... green stuff he sends after you. I promise you'll die begging for mercy as your parents did. Oh yeah. Yeah, and like um, the key to that is just to get to hit these things if you wait. can usually. Yeah, this mirror in the yeah, mi middle is like really finicky to actually get to work. So I guess that's the other difficulty of this. Other than anything else here that I've encountered at Hogwarts, him killing my parents has really hurt my life. <laughs> I just... Ow! Stop that! Ow! Yeah, I Ow! almost ruined this recording by foolishly walking right next to him, but it did make more tension. So. I'm gonna die here. Yeah. Ugh. Reflect back at you. <laughs> that I'm hiding really Can I carefully. Take Voldemort out. Yeah, take that. Hey, if only it were that Blow simple. Blow up or something. Now this is a save game book. Oh, so it is. You know, completely unrelated to anything. Um, it is unfortunate that uh, when this let's play used to be in 480p, 
the text was much bigger and much easier to read. But then when it got to 720, then it gets smaller. Uh, just just annoying. By the way, it does do that thing where like um, it it's hard to see at just for like a moment, and then it gets clarified. I don't know. This game's weird. If you faint, if you faint. Yes, taking his words exactly. See, I thought of that, and the game developers didn't. Game book in my way. So many save game books. Now, uh, in case it wasn't obvious, I didn't plan for there to be a thing with the save game books um, by having a reason to avoid them so that I could do this thing later on. But, you know, things just work out like that, and it can be really cool. Obviously, the lost music, if you've ever heard that, <laughs> you would definitely know that. Duck. Now, as your guardian duck, I have watched over you since you were born. I am only allowed one chance in your life to help you. Yeah, and by the way, I have no idea what this uh, accent is supposed to be, but that just makes it great, right? <laughs> Yeah, it is a bit much maybe to have two kind of uh, recap things, what with the rap and then this fast forwarding thing, but you know it's just so fun to have that uh, this uh, song that appears in the first episode of SpongeBob. Couldn't really resist. No, Baltimore, things are gonna go a bit differently this time. <laughs> and, and of course, just like the uh, Maryland fight. Uh, I, I use quotation marks there. Uh, it was very difficult to feel of how I could Photoshop my way to do this. But, you know, there there we have the megaphone or whatever. Go get him, babies. Ah, uh, yes. Still got that Photoshop animation. Ah, uh, I can't move. How did you control these babies? I bribed them with May Santa's autograph. It is now good that it is, it is good that I was able to have like actual motion here. Bell. I hate Al Petunia, Uncle Bird, and Dudley. Uh, before we get into all this hate, this is also another one of the uh, songs in the soundtrack that is in the background, and uh, of course I gotta make use of that. I hate being forced into friendship. I hate Peeves and Malfoy. I hate having to draw shapes over and over again. What are you doing? I hate doing deadly challenges for my professors. I hate save game books and nearly had the stick. I hate being. Ah, uh, yes. And this is um, a room that you can get to with like uh, the debug mode and like going around and traveling a level. I forget exactly where it is, but uh, it just has all these symbols in it and then. Uh, the buffering is weird, so that the school. Um, I hate Lee Jordan's commentary. I hate fires. So that things just keep c coming around, uh, or don't disappear. Uh, hopefully, you understand what I, what I mean. I managed to incorporate it for this ultimate spell. And fire crabs. I hate a lot of things, but more than anything else, I hate the man that killed my parents, Goody Baba. In retrospect, I should probably should have had like the spell actually go towards Voldemort in that moment, but you know it worked. Dumbledore smiled. What happened down in the dungeons? Whoa, whoa, Dumbledore! <laughs> I like there. There's so much to do in this last storybook thing that I I have to <laughs> I have to cut what it's actually saying for a moment. I just woke up. I can't comprehend anything you're saying. Start over. I made, I made sure, sure that, that your life, life was miserable, miserable so, that so that you could, could produce the spell. spell. Making, Making you live, live with the Dursleys, hiring inept in professors, professors, using that headache spell on you all the time. Wait, what? <laughs> I like how this almost makes more sense than the real story. Um, like, it's literally the, the opposite of what happens in that Harry ordinarily kills Voldemort with love, but now it's hate, and actually Dumbledore meant to make Harry miserable with all the time with the Dursleys. I, 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 sh I should have just written the book for you, uh, J.K. Rowling, um, so uh, if, if we want to do a rewrite, you know, I'll be I'll be accepting royalties. Um, thank you. McGonagall let, let you in on the Quidditch, Quidditch team. team. 
If I created Leave Jordan to counter that. Professor Sprout did a great job, actually. You know, Leave Jordan, that means that he's like a robot or something if he was created. So not only that, but he was also supposedly the Bloody Baron. There's just so much uh, Lee Jordan, like, theorizing and um, lore going on. It's great. All of a sudden, it seems like Voldemort isn't the source of my hatred. It's you. Goody Bob! Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he was just, like, killing Dumbledore. Wow. Uh, I forgot about that. That's great. Goody Bob is just baby, baby talk. talk. Seeing, Seeing as, as the spell, spell requires, requires hatred, you must have been, been quite upset at the time. time. Yeah, because my parents were killed. A baby's, baby's not, not going, going to know, to know that. that. More, More likely, likely Voldemort, Voldemort interrupted, interrupted your nap, nap time. time. The stone. That, that is such a great image, just to imagine uh, that this great wizard Voldemort was killed because he interrupted a baby's nap time. Uh, again, th this should just be canon. The House Cup, announced Dumbledore, of course it's was awarded to the team with the most house points. He would never, ever forget tonight. I love that duck. Now obviously, this legendary scene, there's really nothing I could do to add on to it. Um, it pretty much speaks for itself. Of course there's the after scene, which comes later, but... Uh, We'll get to that. Ah, poor Snape. Well, would you look at that. It's the credits. Yep, and what would you look at that? It's the end of this commentary. And it's been really fun uh, looking over this again. There's actually been a number of years since I've seen a lot of this stuff. I, I am the sort of weird person to also rewatch my own Let's Plays occasionally, but even with this, it, it almost like became uh, intimidating to uh, go back and watch. Just because there was so much involved with it, it almost feels weird to go back to it um, compared to just rewatching like my Indiana Jones Let's Play or something. That's much more chill. But yeah, I mean, there's so much going on that it does have a lot of memories. And obviously, if anyone's watched up to this point, then they're really uh, invested <laughs> in seeing it enough to watch through all this commentary. In in typical uh, Harry Potter Let's Play Flash, and it took like way longer than it should have. But also in that fashion, I did in fact get to the end. So woohoo! But yeah, thanks to anyone that cares so much to. <laughs> probably uh not only watch through the series probably multiple times but then also watch this commentary it's a nice stroll down memory lane for me and probably for the people watching too so you know even though uh let's plays are kind of over for me for the most part uh it's always nice that we have these uh good times to look back on hold it hold it i have some beans to collect yes the beans Beans, 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 beans. Yeah, so, I mean, I, this pretty much speaks for itself, but, um, yeah, I had, there was, I was so meticulous throughout the entire thing to get all the beans and not lose any of them, all the collectibles and everything. Uh, I couldn't just leave this alone, I mean, come on. Beans, 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 All these beans. Beans, 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 and then there's like a couple of the last ones that you need to fly around to actually get up to those. I must collect beans. There you go. Beans. Just ignore the debug mode thing. Beans. All right, now it can end.